Hey everyone, Travis Hine from the Wichita Eagle here. I'm here to talk about a couple of photos I took last week. As some of you may recall, there was some really interesting looking storms in and around the Wichita area. A couple of my photos from those storms have gotten a lot of attention and have caused people to ask, how did you get those photographs? So I'm here to tell you how I did it. These aren't the kind of photos you're going to be able to capture with your iPhone, so obviously I'm using a little bit nicer DSLR digital camera. Some of the other tools that were critical in getting this photograph were a tripod, a device called a lightning trigger, and a really good radar app on my phone. I use an app called RadarScope, which requires a yearly subscription, but it's the best online radar out there. There were a couple of storms already out in Butler and Greenwood counties that had produced tornado warnings and brief tornadoes. I knew I couldn't get to those storms given I was in downtown Wichita at the time, but when I saw a storm coming in to northwest Sedgwick County, I decided, given the history of what these other storms have done, I better go check these out. I first encountered the storm near Mays going up K96. I pulled over, I took a brief photo from the side of the highway before moving on through Mays. Just west of Mays, I felt a couple of hailstones on my car and decided I probably had better get south. So after making a few photographs here, I continued on south to try to get a better vantage point. It's pretty dark out at this point, and it's really hard to see the storm except through flashes of lightning. So in order to make sure I captured the best look of the storm, I used a device on my camera called a lightning trigger. The way this works is it attaches to my camera, it senses flashes of lightning, and triggers the camera for me. So in essence, I'm using lightning to light my picture for me, just like you would use a flash on a camera. Eventually, I continued further south to try to get further away from the storm so I could see it better. You can see from this time lapse of 114 pictures of how different each frame looked because of the lightning. Again, I'm just letting the lightning trigger do the work for me, but the lightning is so intense at this point, the camera was firing almost constantly. I edited these photos and sent them right from the front seat of my car on the side of the road. Within minutes, they were all over social media, and by the next day, publications around the world had published photographs. I love photographing the weather in Kansas, and this was one of my favorite chases of all time.